What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Now, we all heard the news that Hassan Campbell was shot on live stream after going to the projects Raising Hell. And the moment the news hit the internet, everybody became divided. Everybody began speculating on whether it was true or not. You had some people saying it was real. You had other people saying it was fake. But it seems like Hassan Campbell has finally spoken out and answered everybody's question. Because he went live from the hospital bed proving it was real. He showed off the gunshot wound. He showed that he was really in the hospital. He was hooked up to all type of machines. He was singing, talking about he happy he's still alive. I got the video, so I'm going to play it for you guys and pay very close attention to it because we're going to break this whole situation down. Let's go. What up, people? see me up in this hospital bed so up uh, wait a minute so Hassan Campbell is proving that he really was hit with the strap you see how humble he looked you see how calm he's speaking that's a very different tune from yesterday ain't it cause last time we seen Hassan Campbell he had a knife in his hand he was screaming talking about how he's so gangster he was threatening everybody he was talking about he wanna fight the whole projects all because Cassie got $30 million from P. Diddy. That's why Hassan Campbell had that meltdown. Because you know Hassan Campbell's story. Relationship with Africa Bambada. He was underage. He spoke about it on YouTube. He wanted sympathy. But instead of getting sympathy, he got laughed at. He got roasted. Didn't nobody really show him empathy. So when he seen Cassie get that $30 million lawsuit, he's like, what about me? The whole world stopped to cover her story. The shade room was talking about it. Hassan Campbell, like, all I got was a 10-minute um, YouTube interview. That's all I get. So he was salty about that. So now he went to the projects. He like he got hit in the orb, don't it? He either got hit in the back and it came out his orb, or he got hit in the orb and it came out his back. One or the other. But let's continue. Right now, they're about to take this bullet out. Got a miserable night sleeping in this hospital, boy. Backst Look at him. He's in the hospital bed. He's looking in the camera. He's holding the phone up. He's making sure that we know he's in the hospital. And after he dropped this video, he had received tons of backlash. Everybody saying he's cloud chasing. Everybody saying he want attention. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be honest. I can't really fault Hassan Campbell for this. If he really got hit with the strap, he survived, he gonna do a video. Everybody does it. I got regular niggas who got hit up. What they do? On Facebook Live talking, hey man, I'm still alive. So that's the thing people do. They get hit up, if they survive, they go live from the hospital bed. And let's be honest about Hassan Campbell's situation. Ever since he got hit with the strap, Everybody been making money off of them. Everybody been doing live streams. Everybody been making videos, including me. So Hassan Campbell is looking at it like this. Let me monetize my own pain. Let me monetize my own struggle. Everybody else making money, shit. I might as well make money too. I might as well clout chase my own name. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yes, he got hit up. Yes, he acted a damn fool. But now he gonna look on the bright side. Hey, I might as well make a couple thousand dollars off of it. That's how Hassan Campbell is looking at it. But let's continue. Looking crazy. Braids looking nasty. Fakes need to shape up. But I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. See, he's smiling. He's laughing. That's a 50-year-old old man. He went to the projects on a Sunday morning, raised all type of hell. And that wasn't smart at all. Because I'm looking at the situation like this. Hassan Campbell, if you're going to have a meltdown, if you're going to have a mental breakdown, the project's the last place you want to have that at. Because you got to think about Bronx River Projects. It's poverty stricken. Everybody's in a bad mood because their life is messed up. Everybody's hungry. So you're going to go there on a Sunday morning and disturb the peace. You're going to challenge everybody to a fight. You gonna go down there and act the damn fool and think people gonna let you just get away with that? We know how niggas is. They very territorial over the hood. People think they own the hood. People think they own the projects. They don't like somebody coming in there acting like they run and talking about they big bad wolves. So you damn right somebody came out and hit you with the strap. Allegedly. I can't say 
You didn't deserve it because you kept asking for it. You kept talking about what you're going to do to people. Mom, you kept talking about what you're going to do to somebody. You kept telling somebody to come outside, come outside with the real shooter. Come outside with the real shooter. They came outside, lit that fire in your ass, and the next thing we know, we see you rushing to the hospital. Humble as hell. Calm, making noises. A hot bullet will humble anybody, and that's what it did to Hassan Campbell. You ain't bad as you think you is. That would it proved to Hassan Campbell. Everybody talking about, I don't care about dying. I don't give a crap about my life. They get hit with their bullet, they rush into the hospital. That proves that. But let's continue. Oh, man. Boy, Mr. Checkmate just sleep there all night. Now, that looks like the dude that was standing behind Hassan Campbell when he was having his meltdown in Bronx River Projects. You remember Hassan Campbell was screaming, he was yelling, he had the knife in his hand, and it was a dude in the background on his phone. That looks like the same dude. And this is what I gotta say about this. I get you're in the hospital with Hassan Campbell. I get that you are offering comfort to him, but you should have prevented this. It seemed like you just sat idly by when Hassan Campbell set that camera up, when he was yelling, screaming, why you didn't take his phone? Why you didn't say, bro, let's get up out of here? Sometimes you gotta stop your friends from doing stupid stuff. But it seemed like this dude was kind of instigating it. It seemed like he didn't want to try to tell Hassan Campbell, let's go, don't do this, this is not a good idea. Now, now when he gets shot, he by his side. I'm glad he did that, but he could have took a step in and prevented this whole situation. That's how I feel about it. Because I got a homeboy I know for the crash shop. If a homeboy of mine tell me I'm going to go to the projects, I'm going to set my phone up, I'm going to yell, scream, because I'm mad because Cassie got $30 million from Diddy, I'm going to say, bro, that's not a good idea. I'm going to wrestle with him. I'm going to take his phone. Ain't no way in here. I'm going to go to the projects with you. He should have did that. But let's continue. So this is the bullet that got me right here. <laughs> so wait a minute. I get Hassan Campbell's point. Everybody saying he was lying. Everybody saying he was clout chasing. Everybody said it was a publicity stunt. So he shows the bullet that was taken out of his arm. Now some people might say that's a little too graphic. Some people might say he's taking it too far. But let's be honest about the whole situation. If he would never went live from the hospital, if he would never shown the bullet, people still would have been saying he was lying. People still would have been saying he was clout chasing. So Hassan Campbell is doing showing, hey man, I really got hit up. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're the root cause of the reason you got shot. You asked for it. And it could have easily been prevented if you used conflict resolution. If you felt that type of way about Cassie getting $30 million, it gave you nightmares, you had to relive your past, why not go seek therapy? Why not go seek professional help? What is going to the projects Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, yelling, screaming, talking about they don't care about your pain? You damn right people don't care about their pain. People in no projects got their own issues. They trying to find their own next meal. They hungry, stomach hurting. They trying to get off welfare. They trying to sell some food stamps. They ain't worried about you in Africa, man, bottom. I'm sorry. It's very unfortunate. I feel your pain. But don't expect people from the projects to show you empathy when they life is hell, too. That's all I'm saying. But let's continue. Piece of cake. Now let me say this, let me go on a serious note. I'm happy Hassan Campbell survived. I'm happy he's on his way to a speedy recovery. But let this be a lesson learned to all you gangsters out there. Cause we got, we all got somebody in our neighborhood think they the baddest in Alpha, thinking they a gangster, always raising hell. Show him that Hassan Campbell video. Show him how one minute he was yelling, screaming, begging the killers to come outside. And the moment they came outside, he retreated. 
Now, let me say this. If somebody get hit with the strap, I don't blame them for running and rushing to the hospital. But Hassan Campbell's situation is different. He came to their territory. He challenged them to come back. And when they gave it to him, he didn't really want it. And I'm going to say this. Hassan Campbell, if you're going to do all that, why didn't you arm yourself? Why your homeboy didn't have the strap? If you're doing all that yelling, all that screaming, all that bad mouthing, like you big bad wolf, y'all ain't got the strap. Somebody hit you with the strap and you got to rush to the hospital. That ain't the way to go. So you crashed out over celebrity news. Cassie and Diddy had nothing to do with you. I get you got your own issues, but you shouldn't have let that trigger you to do something this stupid. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm glad you survived, but it could have ended worse than that. Oh, 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 oh,